Okay, so this is the walkthrough for CM, Catechus Manor Path 1 right now. So we're going to go over here, grab the Asura. Um, this first part of this dungeon is we're basically going to run around the mansion, the basement, and we're going to bring this Asura to basically blow up uh, technology, they call it. So this is the first one. This is the only one that's up in the courtyard. The rest are going to be in the basement. So what you want to do, uh, once you get in the basement, you want to go right first. The reason we're going to go right first is because there's a boss to the left that you can actually bypass. So we're just going to pull these um, bandits. The order, you all want, always want to focus the cut purses first. The only uh, other mob that takes priority over the cut purse is the thug because it'll buff and heal the rest of the party. Um, but besides that, the cut purses are like the thief type class. They can stack both poison and 12 stacks of bleed on you. So they hurt a lot more than some of the other classes in here. So you saw I had 15 stacks of bleed right there. So when you get to the technology, you basically just use interact on it and the Asura will run over and blow it up. Right, I'm going to go ahead and run in this room. You don't need, my group doesn't need to follow me basically because you don't need to fight here. Um, once you get this piece of technology, then you can basically run out and run to the other path. I'm just going to wait for the... Uh... And if you do get downed, you can always spawn back up top and just go left, so it's not that big a deal. So first you want to go in this room on the right. Um, basically you won't get any aggro from the rifleman and the bomber that's in the hallway, at the end of the hallway. Again, we're going to go in this next room. You can use your dodges. Um, there's net turrets that are going to basically root you into place. So just dodge into this room, clear it out. Alright, once you're in this room, you can actually hit the uh, hallway mobs through the door. You don't actually need to go out there to take damage if you're softer. Again, you can go out if you want. Alright, so for this boss, you can actually just bypass him, uh, run to each of these technology pieces, blow them up, and then run out the door. And it looks like I bugged and went into the wall, actually. Alright, so I actually had to relog uh, to get unstuck from the wall, but basically once you're in here, after you blow up the technology, you're going to run out. Um, you can leash the mob either up in this corner or running back through the hallway back um, basically back to the middle section will leash the boss. Alright so we're gonna go to the barn. This is the basically the second boss, the first boss we're going to fight. What you wanna do is you wanna have one person stay in the video that I just skipped. The reason you do that is the the boss doesn't become aggro so the other four members can run up on this balcony Okay, we're up here. You'll see when uh, the Ellie gets out of the video, these riflemen are going to spawn. Uh, most of them are just normal mobs. I think there's only two silver ones. 
So they're easy to kill quickly. You just want to do it so obviously, obviously you're not getting shot the entire boss fight. And since you already have four people up here, um, you kill them really fast. Alright, so once those are dead, you can just drop down. And as far as this boss goes, he basically just throws um, bombs and knocks you back. His damage is pretty low. So really, you can just like go up and melee him or range him or do whatever. He's not a hard boss at all. That's about it for that boss. Alright, so we're going to run through here now. Um, in here, there's this thug which you want to focus. There's also all these mobs. There's only two that are actually silver. So you can kind of burn them down really quick and then focus the thug. The only other silver is this saboteur here. Um, he died already, but he just like knocks back and applies vulnerability, I think. So you go to the right, there's riflemen here. Um, you're basically going to want to use your dodges and evade to get up there. Um, as far as riflemen go, as you can see, the description says more damage to moving targets. So y you either want to stop in place when you're running like when you know you're going to get shot at, or just use your evades to invincible frame through the shots. As you can see, our Ellie got targeted and uh, died. Alright, so this is the second boss. Well, technically the third boss, I guess, of this dungeon. Um, this boss is fairly easy. Uh, she is a thief, so every maybe 10 seconds or so she's going to stealth and target one person. You can still hit her while she's stealth, just like a normal thief. So there, she uses basically two different types of attacks. She uses the, um, like the blossom type attack that puts bleed on you. And then she'll also do one where she's going to stun you or daze you outside of this when she unstealths. And then uh, use basically like a big wind up attack. Uh, most of the time it's going to insta down you. So you do want to save like a stun breaker. So if you get stunned, uh, use the stun breaker and then evade away from her. That's really the only move to watch out for. Um, the good part about that damaging move that insta downs you is that it's single target. So even if you do get downed, your group can just uh, get you back up quickly and then you can just damage her again. As you can see, besides that, she's nothing to worry about. Outside of her stealth moves, she's pretty weak. Yeah, unfortunately, you didn't actually get to see the uh, stun move there. Alright, so this next part is a running event. I start running. Um, we're just going to use your evades and stuff to avoid damage there. You're going to run up this ramp on the right. It's fairly easy. Just use evades, uh, use your buffs and heals. Once we get over here, you're going to drop down this ledge and go into the room below us. What this does is it lets us line of sight the bandits, basically, or the riflemen, sorry. 
around this corner. They can just all group up here and you can damage them quickly. Um, four more are going to spawn shortly after these two aggro you. As you can see now, they're coming around the corner. Um, there's going to be six total to kill. Once you kill them, you're going to get a chest. Overall, it's, f it's pretty easy. As long as you fight in here and around the corner. I'm going to run down this hallway. <clears throat> this group of two silvers, you can pull them first back here. Uh, the reason we're fighting back here is because if you go down this hallway there's two riflemen on top of those uh, gallow type things. So you obviously don't want to be getting shot while you're fighting other groups of mobs. So when you come up here um, the riflemen will shoot you basically and this group of mobs is going to aggro. Again, just pull them back here around the corner so you're not getting shot. Most of these mobs, it looks like there's a lot of them, but most of them are again normal. There's only two silvers. So as you can see, most of them died extremely quickly and then you just focus the other two silvers down. Alright, so now you can run up here with the rest of your group. You can uh, run up the scaffolding and kill these. They're called enforcers, but they're basically the same as the bandit riflemen. Then you're just going to come around here. There's one more group in the middle of this room patrolling around right there. You can just bypass them, bypass these mobs here by jumping into the water, and they'll leash and lose aggro. Alright, this uh, room has the final boss. This boss overall isn't too difficult either. Um, the first thing that's going to happen after the video is these rocket turrets are going to spawn. There's three of them. Looks like we aggroed the mobs the NPC did, I think. Um, but basically you want to kill these turrets. Once you kill these rocket turrets, um, then you can just focus on the boss, just so you don't have like random attacks hitting you while you're you're trying to fight the boss. As far as the boss goes, as you can see, he's doing like a flamethrower, a frost flamethrower, basically. It's going to do damage and then chill you. Um, occasionally, he's also going to throw out like a icicle type ball thing that's going to freeze one person in place. Um, soon, yeah, it just happened, these golems, there's three of them, they come to life at certain increments of his health. We usually just end up focusing him still, and the, the golems will just die naturally, or you can just, if you're all ranged, you can just kind of kite them around. They're extremely slow, and they have slow attacks, so they're not much to worry about. Um, if you are softer, you want to range this boss as well, and just kind of spread out and kite them around this arena. This group's fully geared and we have two guardians so we can actually just melee him pretty quickly. And once he's dead, then you finish CM Path 1. Thanks.